I love a party. Oh. I love a party. Oh. Where are the guests? Uh, there aren't any. They're not coming. Except for these four chumps behind the That's camera. Right. <laughs> We're just going to eat all this stuff ourselves. Going to have a cocktail party. Yep. Uh, but have there's one, one thing that is not here today, and that's, that's the right. cocktail. That's right. <laughs> we don't yeah, for all you fanatics out there. <laughs> <laughs> no, for all of you that are, you know, get upset if we hoist a glass, we're not even going to have mocktails. We're going to stay away from that so you can have anything you want at home. You can have, you boys and girls can have milk, and mom and daddy, you can have apple juice, and grandma and granddaddy, you can have the real high test stuff. Use your imagination right. just a little bit. What, who, where, from whence did this toy come? That was given to us by my dear sweet cousin, Bobby Hawkins. See that? Bobby, Bobby Hawkins. Hawkins. And that's a girl, Bobby. Now here's what I got to do. Bobby and Buddy, her husband. Now I'm going to turn it around, don't get nervous, but here's what I got to do. I got to reach in its mouth. Oh. It's fighting me. It's a blue hippo. I've got well, to, can I can't do it? do it with my left hand. I got to do it with my right hand. <laughs> and you pull on it. Oh, it didn't do anything. It, it, yes, it, it did. did it out well, of camera got, Let's do it one more time so that they can see it. You I can tell this thing is not used to there we go. being on television. <laughs> <laughs> and there it is. Well, we'll have to keep that around and do it That's every funny. once in a while. <laughs> Oh, oh, what are you going to make? Oh, well, I, I'm going to do, um, I, I'm doing a couple of dips for all you dips out there. And uh, I'll start by opening up a can. <laughs> oh, no, not that trick yeah. again. And uh, this is a one pound can of chili with beans. And you really ought to zap it through the food processor. But since the one Doris bought for us, uh, came without some of the parts, she and Harold were going to take it back and yell it to people at the store and uh -huh. get another one, and I don't think they've gotten it back yet. So I'm not going to process this as it probably should be processed if we were doing it right, which we are not probably going to be able to do. Huh? Anyway, I'm going to dump this in a little casserole ovenware ironstone pot, and while I'm doing that, Mr. Black can go ahead and well, the, thank you. The first thing I'm going to do is a fine nut recipe. And what I've done is I've taken a, a quarter of a, of a stick <laughs> this is, oh, uh, of uh, margarine. That. It calls for real butter, but I, I tell you the truth, I just went with a combination of uh, butter and margarine mixed together. I thought it would do the same thing. I have melted that in here. And the next thing I'm going to do is just take some peanuts, and we're going to flip them and flop them around in there. Now that's not hot. It doesn't, oh, how terrible. I mean, just doesn't say how many. So just do the greatest of plenty. And we're going to flop oh, those around in there. Oh, would you like to have some of those? I'm hungry. You know, I never get to eat around With a here. teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, a teaspoon. I don't even have a teaspoon over. That's all right. We'll just make it up. Mm. There we go. That looked like a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. A little salt and pepper. These were not salted, were they? Unsalted, no. so therefore a little bit of salt would be a good thing for these. And I don't know whether you want to put any pepper on them or not. Yeah, a little salt to taste, no pepper. And a pinch of, oh yeah, a, a pinch of cayenne pepper. I knew there was something. Just a little of that. Just a tad little bit. Woo. Now what we'll do is we'll... Oh, that's going to light our fire. <laughs> <laughs> I think I could probably use some more of them. I'll put a few more in there. This is kind of a trail mix without the trail. <laughs> this is mostly just a mix. Happy trails to you. Absolutely. To mix that around in there a little bit, and then you have your oven set at 300 degrees. And we're going. What we're going to do is put that over here now, and we're going to put it, and we're going to just sort of bake it flat like this for 10 minutes at 300 degrees. There we go. Isn't that pretty? That's not pretty at all, but I mean, that's just what it looks like, a bunch of nuts laying on a platter. Right. And we're going to put that in the oven for 300 degrees for 10 minutes. Bunch of nuts laying on a platter. That's sort of like that slumber party we had in here last week. <laughs> and that's it. That's the first one. i got a couple more to do, so don't go away. It's real exciting. Now, for this little chili dip, you know, we've got our canned chili, and you goose it up in the food processor just to process it just a little bit, mash up those beans. And then you take one of these uh, jars of cheese spread that you get at the grocery store. This is Old English. And you just reach in there and you pull it 
right out and let it clunk right down on the top of this. Yeah, I wish I had my little spatula from home. Whoops! It's just flying everywhere. And then, you, of course, you can use this for a juice glass when you get through with it. If you don't have all that ceramic down inside right. it by the time you get finished beating it around. Now, that's all that you do. Oh, that's it? Yeah, that's it. And you take it over and you put it in a 350 degree oven until the cheese is melted. Isn't there some way you could have slowed that down a little bit? <laughs> I'm a little worried that I only have two more recipes. We got the greatest of plenty of the program to go yet. Oh no. I'm we, a little we, concerned. We time. I want you to see something. This is terrible. Mr. Johnson, now I'm not throwing it up in his face or anything like that, but he was just a little bit late getting here today because he had a meeting went over. He couldn't help it, but he's here now and we're all happy. But while you were gone, mm -hmm. the staff ate the biggest part of my dates. Oh no. Just printing there all of them. I hope Maureen chokes back there in the back. She oh, probably I, Oh, I hope she does too. I'd eating like to one see of them it. right now. <laughs> what I have to do is I have to now start taking these little dates and I'm going to kind of slice them just a little. These are pitted dates. There are no pits in them whatsoever. See, there's a little hole where the pit used to be right in there. <laughs> in fact, you can put a little whistle on the end of it. You can blow on it. They're pitted and dates. that would make a real nice party uh, favor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just making this up as I go along. But that's all right. That's what the show is all about. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take these little dates and be real careful. You don't want to cut yourself. I'm going to put this down here. And we're going to cut halfway through them so that you can open them up. Their little bodies up. See them? Their little body is wide open. And then we're going to take some pork cheese. And I got to tell you a funny story about the pork cheese. I searched around yesterday. There must be a pork cheese shortage going around. I couldn't find any. Dumbest thing in the world, normally six tons of it laying out in the cheese section. Yesterday couldn't find any. And I had to buy this pork cheese log. Log, complete with nuts on it. So what well, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter a bit. It's still pork cheese. So we're gonna take some of that. And the next thing we are gonna do, did you hear that? Hammerstrom is Hammerstrom's cracking his gum. Cracking gum. I hope you brought enough for everybody. He's been working with the, so, <laughs> he's he's been working with for those me. kids too long. And see, that's what we're going to do. We're going to take these dates and we're just going to cut them in half and we're going to stuff them with that pork cheese. But I will tell you, you know, I was saying terrible and things. Of course, Bly hates that because he never likes to stuff his date. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But I want to show you. at the dinner table. I want I want to give credit where credit's due. Now, I said a terrible thing about our sound person, Maureen, but look at this. She was making up creative little ones before I got on the air today. This is a cream cheese with a walnut stuff in it. Uh, one. <laughs> so she was just making all kinds of things up. So see, even someone like Maureen can think of Somebody things to do with food sometimes. Even an Ignat can make little <laughs> canapes. <laughs> ah. Now she knows we're just kidding. Yeah, but we're just kidding. We're kidding, I'm but just a little bit. All right. So I'm going to continue doing that and making those up because you know they're going to be just real swell. And uh, so now back to Mr. Johnson. Okay, now I have your standard medium size cuke. Have our guests got here yet? <laughs> no, I don't, who, who was coming? I think that it sounded like an Indian. Oh, uh, oh I don't well, know. Anyway, uh, you, got, you got to peel this cuke now. I always thought you had to have guests for a cocktail party. Oh, I'd love to see it. Anyway, you peel your cuke. What did that mean? To get, I don't know. Anyway. I'd like to see just anybody show up here today. Well, these things are just real sticky, aren't they? What, dates? Yeah, I would have thought that you would have, sugary. have pontificated, 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 pontificated is what you're trying to say. mightily about the dates, because I know how you study up on everything that we well, do Well, no, here. I mean, you know, a date's a date. Oh. Comes oh. off a palm tree, and it's one of the principal pieces of commerce in the Mideast. Now, take the cucumber, you peel it, cut it half in two, and you're going to scrape on it to get the seeds out of it. Mm -hmm. And I'm just scraping away down in here. And you can feel when you get down to the, the meat, and you just clean it up. There you go. Set the same thing over here. Talking about seeds, did you see that woman that wrote into the paper a couple of weeks ago, and she was 
bemoaning the fact that they kept every fast food place you went to serve seeded buns and sesame seeds didn't yes, add anything to it. Yes, it just goes to prove that people get themselves in an uproar over anything. I know, and I thought to myself, well, you Dumbo, if you don't like the fact that somebody's serving you a sesame seed bun, ask for another one. Oh, she ought to know. She didn't want it. She ought to tell them up front. Now, here's a grater. This is a grater, and we're going to grate up <laughs> this than cu what? cucumber on the side of it that gives you a coarse grind and we're going to grate this up down in this mixer bowl into which I have put two eight ounce packages of cottage cheese. That's right. Or uh, what is this? Cream cheese. You, you got to have a pound of cream cheese in here and you just grate this cucumber right on into the bowl. I'm going to tell you all something right now. A revelation right here on the air. You've never heard me say this before. I'm going to say it today. I wouldn't be caught dead eating any of this. I go to parties, I don't touch party food, cocktail food, I hate it. I hate every bit of it. <laughs> you lie like a it's Chinese true. snake. It's true. I have seen you know you all those vegetables. Pig your plates. way? No, no, no. All those, only the expensive stuff. Shrimp, stuff <laughs> like that, I eat my way through it. But I'm telling you, when it comes to those vegetable trays with all those dips, I go home. Huh. I don't like Ladies those and things. gentlemen, I hate to do it. That's right. <laughs> and I hate to do it, but I, I will have to bring the videotape. <laughs> what? Of that party I remember, that last one. Yeah. What? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> yep. I hate this stuff. The one where you were trying to pretend to be you were the Eiffel Tower in honor of Bastille Day. Huh. <laughs> well, anyway. Yeah. Now, I want you all to see this. This is real attractive. I don't want you to miss this. Start the overhead shot. This is a, a cheese log gets that half of it eaten out. <laughs> there it is. Isn't that beautiful? Oh. Yeah. Give it to a friend. Okay, now I've got my cute grated down in there. How great they are. No. <laughs> All right, now we're going to uh, mince some green onions. It smells good, I'll say that. And you Johnson, gotta, I know how much you like cheese. I'm going to give you that. You take that oh, thank home. thank you. Serve oh. it to your guests at your next party. Well, you know, if I know if I did, they would uh, come subtle, in. Subtle cue. Subtle cue. They, they would want to know uh, how that cheese got opened. Oh, I still have two more <laughs> recipes to do. What am I doing? I'm, I don't know. You're playing around over there. Diddling around over here and the nuts are burning. I'm diddling. He's having a good time and I still got two more recipes. Can I start? Or, well, yeah. Well, I'm mincing up four green. Now, I've got a pound of, of uh, cream cheese and a medium-sized cube shredded and I'm mincing up four green onions. And I'm going to put that in and you go ahead and I'll add some more stuff after a while. I'm going to make a blue cheese dip now. How Calls do you make a blue cheese dip? <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> corny as can be. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out, what is 0.33 pounds? Is that a third of a pound? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, this calls for a quarter of a pound, so I can't do this recipe. Now no, I'm going to take it. That's well, close just, enough. Just give me a little piece of it. Give you a little piece of it. Johnson has to have a piece of every piece of cheese that comes through here. Well, this I, is blue. Bleh. Here, have some. You know, I'm not allowed to. <laughs> oh, I watch him grab his heart and fall over. I'm not allowed to have it. That's why I like to taste it. <laughs> uh, he, lo he cannot turn down cheese, not for anything. Because I know that doc my doctor, good old Dr. Neahawk, is watching me every once in a while. And Woo wee! Woo, that woo. is odiferous. <laughs> that is delicious. aromatic. Oh, mm, mm. Woo, woo, woo. a quarter pound of cream cheese. I want you to see this has already been opened and eaten out of. This place has been the biggest mess today. Piggies. Piggies. None of them eat at home. All right, that's enough. Well, now while you're doing that. Well, I wait mean, a minute. No, no, I don't want to wait a minute. Oh, okay. All right. I want to add three squirts of Tabasco to this. One, two, three. Four, five, six. <laughs> All right, hit it. Is that it? Well, I'm going to put some salt and pepper in, but go ahead. Oh, well, we don't want to miss that. Oh, 
if you've seen salt once, you've seen it a million times. Go ahead, watch, don't you even worry. Salt. watch how much he puts in. About Boof. A half a teaspoon. I was watching you the other day on television. <laughs> so now you put just a little bit of salt in there and he dumped about a half a pound down. Oh, Larry. It's incredible. Made my, oh my heavens, when it's <laughs> good. <laughs> I'm starting to get nervous for sure now. Cut them nuts off because <laughs> they're starting to Oh burn. no, they burned. No, oh, they, they burnt everybody, burnt. they burned. Ah! Now but the bad thing the is, nuts. I've cut them off, but, no, they haven't burned. Now look at that. They're perfect. Oh, well, they are. But how they? could anybody eat anything like that? <laughs> I don't know. I think you got didn't have enough nuts is what I think. No, I didn't. Well, i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to spoon them off of there. Yeah, just throw them That's out. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to yeah. spoon them off of there. But first of all, i got to finish this recipe that oh, I well, started. Oh, well, go ahead. I'm going to put in two tablespoons of mayonnaise into this. Uh, now, take it away, Larry. Oh, me. A little cream goes in there. Oh, I remember them. They were a rock group. But I and three tablespoons of chopped nuts. I'll put them in there. That's close. And a teaspoon of Brandy. She's a fine girl. Now, there we go. And let's hope and pray this thing works. Blue cheese, cream, quarter cup of heavy cream, and chopped nuts. Ah! Well, that's an awful lot of noise at one time. The cheese isn't going in there for some reason. <laughs> Maybe I need to cut this cheese up a little bit. Is that our new blender or is that yours? That's my personal blender from home. But it's not doing much better than the one we had. Miserable excuse for a blender. No, it's really a good blender, but maybe I need to put more cream in. Don't give me sides, I don't have time. I'm gonna put more cream in, I've had it. It's not going anywhere. Look at it, it's just jumping up and down. Well, if I let it go long enough, it'll get down in there. There we go. There we go. Do you smell something that smells electric burning? I think it's that cologne you've got on. Ooh, the wire. I'm going to put a little more cream in. I'm going to keep adding cream till this stuff does something. This is going to be a wonderful dip. Cook sisters are coming along. While we're messing with this, maybe we ought to check in with them and see what cook sisters are oh, up to. Oh, no, they're not coming in here now, are they? Right now. Oh, here no. Here they go. Because they'll steal the whole show away from us. Oh, sister. What? Do you remember this? Oh, yeah. I think we strung up Uncle Henry with that, didn't we? No, 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 you buffoon. Don't you remember? This is what Mama used to use up in the attic on rainy days when oh, we hung your clothes hang up. hang the clothes yeah, on. Yeah, and you just nail it up on the wall and twist it. Remember that time you got the cat stuck in this thing? Oh, oh, my finger. Ah. Oh. Oh, My it best was a one. wonderful thing. Only back one in that the still works. Days. Oh, look at oh, it. Oh, yeah, it was oh, the best thing. Terrible. What? But it was, a, I don't know, I can't remember. I'm Sister Cook. And I'm Tootsie Cook. And, and we're, we're the, the Cook sisters. sisters. They certainly are. Mm. Well, our dip is coming out. It looks real pretty. It's got all kinds of good stuff in it. And you know it's going to be lovely. Look at well, that. Isn't that pretty? It's just the right consistency. I just had to play around with it a little bit. Wonderful blue cheese dip. And there she is. Isn't that lovely? Now in a couple of minutes, I got one more thing that I'm going to do. I'm gonna make all kinds of little cocktail shish kebabs. One of my favorites always at every party I go to. 
cocktail. Shish Too many of them. All right, now back to Mr. Johnson. Oh, no, I'm not ready. I don't have anything to do. <laughs> <laughs> No, oh. uh, I have. Would you put this over on the table then? Thank you, I will. I have beaten my uh, cream cheese we'll get uh, in dip into submission, and it's real fluffy and nice with the cucumber in it, and it's ready. Oh, they say we ought to tell them the recipe, so here they are. Blue cheese dip, which I just did, a quarter pound of blue cheese, quarter pound of cream cheese, quarter cup of heavy cream. You want to be able to play around with that until you get the consistency you want. Three tablespoons of chopped walnuts and a teaspoon of brandy. Would you, would you maybe oh. dip these things oh, out? Oh, the cucumber dip, one cube, peeled, seeded, and shredded. Two eight ounce packages of cream cheese, softened. Four green onions, finely chopped. Three squirts of Tabasco, salt and pepper, and two tablespoons of mayo. And mm. the chili dip there. Is one one pound can of chili with beans, run through the processor, and one jar of Old English cheese spread. Okay, now what I'm doing right now is I'm taking a little cheese here, and I'm chopping them up into little bitty blocks in anticipation of our, our little skewers, which we're getting ready to do. Just chop them into little bitty blocks. And what do you, what do you need like me to so. do? I need for you to take a slotted spoon or something and dip oh, those okay. nuts out of that uh, thing. Will do. Because they're just, well, I, sh I don't know. Maybe you got to experiment around with things. Don't get upset with yourself. Now, this thing calls for cocktail onions, midget gherkins, <laughs> one of my favorites. Well, you remember, don't you? Spanish olives. The oh, you have. Pulled my cord and some cheese. And what it calls for you doing is uh, <laughs> you're supposed to take some plastic toothpicks. And ladies and gentlemen, I have a terrible thing to have to tell you. You didn't have it. The plastic forests have been rendered uh, just, they're gone. There's no more plastic forests left anymore. And yesterday I could only find the real thing, real oh. tree. The reason you're supposed to use plastic is because if you make these things up in advance, as you're supposed to, and they lay around in wooden ones, mm -hmm. you're liable to get a splinter in your crawl. So now here's what you do. You start building these things like so. We take the little onion, and then we take the little cheese. Now you know this is gonna be good. Mm -mm. And a little, see, a little gherkin, and then that, see? Isn't that lovely? You've probably seen this done on television before. There's a little machine that punches these out. Some guy does a two-hour commercial about them. Except I'm doing it the hard way, which is the only way to do it. And this is just real fine, just mm -hmm. got all kinds. And you may want to vary it once in a while just to fool all your guests. Mm -hmm. Do it out of order. The next time, do the gherkin, then the onion, and then the little olive, and then the piece of cheese. It is. It's it's right snappy. Well, you better bring it on over here because we're going to run out well, of time. Well, we still got time, don't we? How much time we got? Two minutes. Oh, my heavens. I better be getting it over there. All right. Well, hang on. I'm going to build one more, and then I want you to look at my fine platter that I put together. Ouch, that I put together. No, we're not going to do that. So there we go. Now, here's some more of these little canapes, which we now have, and we'll take those over. <laughs> the, here are the canapes mm -hmm. leaving the scene. All right. Boy, doesn't well, this look, look at this. Good. Doesn't this look just real? What are we going to eat those with? These Chips? Doritos. Well, wow, it's right here. I'm yelling. I Sit know. Down. They're just the rudest bunch of people I've ever been around. Well, I'll try some Woo! of that dip and just burn my hand plum off. Very hot. Mmm. I like that. Mm -hmm. Give me another one of them. Oh, here, have one of these fine. Oh. Port dates. Mm, mm, now let me mm. try some Boy, of this Boy, that would be dip. so good with a glass of ginger ale. Mm, mm. Oh, you'll love this blue cheese dip because it's real fine and real cheesy. Now, what's this stuff over here that you made? That's a cucumber dip. That's kind of green looking. Here, try it with You've got one big of these. lumps in it. Mm, well, let's try some of that. Blue cheese dip is really delicious. Oh, and here, have one of these skewers that I just made up especially for you. Uh, no thanks. See, I told you, <laughs> nobody likes those things. But anyway, well, hey. Well, I want to try some of this cucumber. Listen, we're just going to pig out here, and if you got, oh, there's the witch. 
Now, wait a minute. Why is she flying like that? Oh. Oh, I see. Look, see, she's backing up into the picture. By the way, these That means uh, we're going to do a tailgate party next week. Say bye. <laughs> <laughs>